All right, everybody, good morning. It's a Sunday and I am just leaving the house to do a bike ride. This is um, a charity ride that I'm doing this morning. It's called the Bridge Pedal. I pretty much do it every year. And the start of this ride is pretty close to the house. And of course I have this terrific downhill to start the ride. It's very early in the morning. I don't even think it's seven o'clock yet, but this ride closes off lots of roads and bridges and freeways so that people can bike over, over them. These are places you can't normally bike, so it is kind of fun. So yeah, let's go see if we can find the beginning of this ride. So this is downtown Portland. This is a scary, scary Portland that everybody in the media always likes to portray as this incredibly dangerous place. Doesn't really look too bad to me. So we've got more roads blocked off here for the ride this morning. This is uh, the road to the Hawthorne Bridge. All right, I'm for the main ride. Hi, how are you? Good morning. My name is uh, Sylvia, Sylvia Halpern. Okay, so I've attached my main ride. So I'm official. Everybody knows that I am allowed. And uh, this is the ride that will go over most, the most bridges. Uh, but yeah, let's go see the start. Let's get this thing going. All right, people are on the move. We are starting the bridge pedal. Got a nice crowd, that's for sure. And I'm gonna be riding with Chuck and Barb today. Hi. All right, let's go. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. Uh, all right, let's go. Watch out Woo! <laughs> let's go, bridge pedal. A good event. It's a time to enjoy each other and this beautiful day. Anything right, not great. Morning. So it looks like they're keeping some of the bridge open for car traffic and also for people that are just wanting to ride or walk across and that are not on this ride. Hey Barb! Hey Chuck! around uh obviously this is the science and industry museum the giant dinosaur in the front uh i do not remember that this ride has ever been on the spring water corridor but the spring water it's just a multi-use path eight foot typical and they're going to funnel thousands of riders expecting that we're going to leave enough room so people can go in both directions because a lot of people use this path all day, every day. hear birds in the trees. All right, 
point we are turning off the spring water. Hi there, good morning. And we are headed to the bridge. You can see in the distance where everybody's riding. And this is a very s steep, short hill. When I was working, commuting, I used to take this uh, route every day. And we've got another, another bottleneck to try and get on this bridge. The Selwood Bridge is next. See, on two wheel bikes, you have to walk. On three wheel bikes, you get to ride. There we go. So now we're getting on to the Selwood Bridge. This bridge was redone a few years ago. It was quite dangerous uh, before they redid it. It was really narrow. And now they've got this very nice wide sidewalk for cyclists. And you can also ride in the street. There's a bike lane in the street. Back over the Willamette River. So this person's you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> Getting past all these people with cameras, taking photos, celebrating the, the ride. I always say it's my bridge because it's the bridge I cross the most, the Hawthorne Bridge. And Recumbent PDX, my local trike shop, is just on the other side of this bridge. holding it down, beavers. It's kind of fancy. This is a drawbridge. So when uh, big sailboats, big ships need to get up river, you know, open the Open the drawbridge, stop traffic.
wow, we got like all kinds of stuff going on down here. People are turning to the right. Main ride? Main. Oh, I don't even understand what that means. I wish they would just say, main ride, turn left. for a few hours so that we can ride over this bridge to Markham. So I think this is the high point of the ride. Let's get over here now. Do this side. There's some entertainment up here. a recumbent. I think it's the first one I've seen on this ride. I wonder if I can catch him. Maybe I can catch him. Getting some air here. recumbent I've seen. Yeah, one other try. Me too. I, uh, uh, Chuck and Barber on the ride. I think they're a little further ahead. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a nice downhill here.
there goes another triker. Way. Crossing over the Willamette. It's really amazing to be on this bridge, which is usually crowded with cars. favorite thing about this ride is the Tyco drummers and they are always at the top of this bridge so we're gonna stop here and wait for their next set because they are so much fun I'm gonna go like right over here so I can really see them yeah <laughs> taiko, taiko, taiko! Yay! Yay, taiko! see everybody on these on another bridge coming down that's where we're headed Woo 
very crowded here. They have ice cream, bananas, different kinds of snacks you can uh, just pick up. All right, you guys, what'd you think about that? Pretty fun, huh? Beautiful day, overcast, a little bit of wind. All right, so I am heading back up the hill to the house. Uh, it's about a two mile climb and uh, just had a really, really fun ride. I do this ride every year. This is the 25th year for this ride. And I just think it's a lot of fun. It was really nice to see Chuck and Barb and Jeannie out there. I was very few recumbents this year, but uh, the weather was perfect and I'm really Always really, uh, I always really enjoy this ride a lot. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Remain safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.